Hey, boys and girls, are you ready for UFC 217? Let's break it down for you. 36-year-old George St. Pierre is a three-time welterweight champion. For a long time, he was considered the number one ranked welterweight in the world. St. Pierre has been training with boxing great Freddie Roach. Yeah. Freddie's best known fighter Pacquiao got his shack handed to him by Australian Jeff Horn in February. In March 2014, St. Pierre went to Twitter and said he was injured. In 2007, he came back and said he was back for some more arse kicking. St. Pierre will take on 38-year-old Michael Bisping, who defeated Luke Rockhold in June of 2016 by knockout. There's honestly, people, there's been very little interest in this fight. And I don't think anybody gives a shot. Nobody. And if you go around the clicks, you hear nobody talking about it. Nobody cares. Uh, you go look at look at YouTube here, fellers. Look at UFC hype shows. They ain't even got one million views. It's going down the drain. UFC is trying to sell Bisping to the UK audience. The guy's less British than the British Petroleum. He married to an Australian and now lives in California. You know, and then you need to you need your GPS to go back in the GSP's history to find a fight that's worth watching. The last time he had a good one was when he got knocked out by Matthew Sarah. He nearly got outstruck by old terrible Jake Shields, the jiu-jitsu man. And then he was beat to death by old fat boy Johnny Hendricks, who could barely make weight. It's nice to see GSP finally fighting his legitimate weight, though, instead of being a puss like everybody else. Now, here's what it boils down to, boys. GSP ain't going to have a chance against Bisping. Bisping showed a total, complete nutsack when he got in there against Dan Henderson after being annihilated. And he's shown knockout power against Rock Code. It's like he's finally learned how to throw a hard punch. GSP has only gotten worse over his last three to four fights, and he's been out for several years. What makes people think he's going to get better now? Bisping will manhandle the Canuck. GSP isn't going to have the massive weight advantage like he did against everybody else at welterweight. GSP will be looking for his GPS to find a way to get out of there when Bisping starts pounding that arse. At the end of the day, though, fans will most likely be disappointed with the entire card. Garbrandt and Dillashaw has the potential to be good. Otherwise, you should save your money on this stinker. Three title fights doesn't mean a good card. Nobody cares about women's MMA. During those fights, you might as well go in your shower and wank off real good. Why did GP GSP decide to come back anyway? What's the point at this, at this time? Does he need money? The sport's in its decline, just like George... You'll see both of them on uh, tomorrow night. The car will be shat, and George will get his shat pushed in. Don't say I didn't tell you, tell you, tell you so. Don't buy it, boys. Don't do it. Have fun. Be sure to uh, make fun of me in the comments below. Thanks.